I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Sathya Sai Baba. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to write a program in Python to blink LED using the Cisco packet tracer. Here I'm going to use uh, two uh, important uh, components. Uh, the one is called it as microcontroller. Actually, this is a physical uh, board. Okay, I'm not using this physical board. I'm going to use a virtual app called Cisco Packet Tracer. In Cisco Packet Tracer, we can able to find uh, this one. Uh, this calls a microcontroller unit, the Packet Tracer. Uh, this is your physical board. Uh, therefore, here I'm going to use one more component called LED, the slight emitting diode. It has two terminals. The one is called it as anode. The another terminal is called a cathode. So anode is somewhat longer. Uh, compared to cathode in that way we can able to differentiate okay the longer one is anode the shorter one is called cathode therefore if you want to make led on the anode potential must be greater than uh, cathode potential therefore uh, because of two terminals we can have four combination like low 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 high high low high high means in other way uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 therefore here if you want to make LED on the anode must be high and cathode must be low then only uh, LED is on for remaining uh, combination the LED is off. Before I'm going to implement uh, this particular thing uh, by using Cisco packet tracer uh, the language used is uh, Python now just uh, we can uh, just I'm going to launch uh, that particular tool. Now this is a Cisco packet tracer uh, here I'm going to use uh, one, one is called say components, just components here. Uh, here we have uh, two important components, means micro control unit and a single board computer. I'm going to use micro control unit. Uh, if you want, you can enlarge by using this. Okay. Then I need one more uh, uh, component called actuators. Under actuators, we have LED. Say so LED. You know, it has two terminal anode and cathode. Uh, by default cathode is connected to ground just we have to connect uh, anode only just put two connections then select iot custom cable click on this here we can find uh, six digital pins and four unlock pins here i'm going to use uh, digital pins let it be d1 i'm going to select d1 and then click on this led then click on d0 okay now the connection is completed Okay, the connection is completed. That is D1 is connected to D0 of LED. There is nothing but D0 is nothing but anode here. Therefore, if you want to make this LED on, anode must be high, means you have to make D1 equal to high. If D1 is high, LED is on. D1 is low, LED is off. Therefore, now we have to write a program. Uh, therefore, I have to go for this uh, board, microcontrol board. Just click on this, then go to programming, then new. Under that, uh, give the project name called it be Blink. You can give any name as you like. Okay, Blink. Uh, here we can able to write program under different uh, environment. I'm going to use Python. Just uh, create. Okay. Now we have this uh, window. I'm going to write a program uh, using this. Okay. Uh, now. Click on this. Uh, now I'm going to zoom it. Okay. Now I'm going to write a program in using Python language. Therefore, you have to import some uh, important uh, library. Uh, that is one is called uh, that is uh, that is from GPIO. GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output. Import import everything from that okay if you want to configure or if you want to control some our devices uh, we need this uh, library then from uh, time because we have to generate delay time import everything from that library then afterwards we know that the pin number one the digital pin number one uh, from microcontroller is connected to led uh, therefore, first we have to configure, means we can able to use pin number one as input 
or we can able to use pin number one as output depending upon your requirement. In this case, uh, we know LED is connected to pin number one. We know that LED is a, a example for output device. Therefore, we have to configure pin number one as output. Therefore, there'll be a function called pin mode. Okay, I have to spell properly pin mode. M is uppercase. Then here uh, we have to pass two important parameters. The one is pin number. In this case, we are using pin number one. Then we are using pin number one as output because uh, we know LED is an example for output device. Therefore, output, output. Then this job is completed because now we can able to use pin number one as uh, input or pin number one as output. But in this example, uh, we have connected the uh, LED at pin number one. Therefore, uh, this is con this configuration is very very important. Then you have to write actual program means you have to make LED on for one second and then we have to make LED off for one second. Now, therefore, I, I need some loop. I want to create one infinite loop. Okay, infinite loop that is while then true followed by colon. It's a syntax for this. Then once if we press enter automatically, it is going to uh, set the cursor at appropriate position, at proper indentation. Here, no need to write any open flower bracket or closing flower bracket. Okay, now I have to write the program. I want to make LED on. How to make LED on? We have to make digital pin one as high. Okay, that's why now here I'm writing function called digital right. Digital right, it's a function. Here I'm going to pass uh, two parameters. One is pin number. I have to make pin number one as high. I, by this time LED is on, then make it on for one second, then there'll be another function. Function is nothing but a program, sub program. Okay, it's going to perform specific task. I'm passing on parameter like thousand, this thousand millisecond is nothing but one second. Now, once if you execute this two function, uh, it makes LED on for one second. Then repeat same thing, copy this, paste. Now here, make led off for one second make led off for one second and this is a program okay while true means always true while true means it's keep on executing this a uh, force function in in infinitely okay make led on for one second make led off for one second it's what keep on doing same job infinitely therefore now it's just you can see here uh, i'm going to execute uh, this program program okay now see i will run this program just run okay run it's keep executing keep executing okay any doubts here keep executing uh means it won't come out if you want to come out of this particular loop then you have to stop otherwise it won't come out okay if it is a stop okay i'm going to stop then only it stop executing this particular program. Then if you want to execute once again, click on run, then start executing once again. Okay. Then set deep, then stop. Uh, if you want, you can change the delay here. Uh, okay. 100 millisecond here, 100 millisecond. Then once again, run and we can see it becomes faster. If we, depending upon requirement, we can able to modify uh, the delay here. Delay is 1100 millisecond. Here 100 millisecond, 100 millisecond on, and 100 millisecond off. Let's keep on doing same thing infinitely. Uh, it won't come out uh, simply. If you want to come out, you have to stop. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to explain how to make it find it. Okay. How to make it find it. Find it means uh, suppose I'm going to ask you to execute only 10 times or five times or thousand times. Uh, then we have to. Uh, somebody has to be there to control the loop. Okay, somebody has to be there to control the loop. Loop. Therefore, we need some variable for that. Suppose here I'm going to import one more variable by i equal to zero. It's the initial value. Then next here, i less than five. Just I want to blink LED five times. Uh, now make LED on for one. Uh, let be one second. Then make LED off for one second. 1000 millisecond equal to one second. Then here I want to uh, check the status of i. Uh, therefore, there'll be a print function, print, uh, print the value of i. Then 
then update the value of i i equal to i plus 1 so what is the initial value 0 0 plus 1 1 okay 0 plus 1 1 then i becomes 1 okay then go back 1 less than 5 true then make it on for one second make it off for one second print that value and uh, 2 to becomes uh, means i becomes 2 2 less than 5 true it enters into the loop then finally 3 4 5 5 less than 5 false then it comes out of the loop okay and we can see here uh, okay now just i'm going to run this see start blinking here 0 1 2 3 4 0 to 4 there is nothing but 5 okay now this is the way of creating uh, the finite loop therefore i think uh, i understood so how to create a finite loop and how to create infinite loop uh, this is an example for what finite loop therefore if you want to control the loop we need some variable here i'm going to use i variable it's going to control the loop initial value of i is 0 0 less than 5 true it enters into the loop it's going to run run once then update then go back check the condition true enter into the loop and do this job update the variable go back check true means enter into the loop and skip on for forming this job okay uh, thanks for watching okay if you have any doubts we can uh, put it in a comment section thank you